So this is like the eighth or ninth time that I've tried to record this particular video. Um, it's tough because it's more of a collection of stories and not just one flowing story like the Bryce Harper story. Um, although this probably should have been the very first one. I, li I love the Bryce Harper story, um, but this is the one uh, that started Abby's love for baseball. And it all stems from this ball right here. Uh, this ball uh, was given to her at the first full game we ever went to uh, by a player named Garen Cicchini. Uh, he played for the Salem Red Sox. It was a Potomac Nationals versus Salem Red Sox game. Uh, we bought tickets, front row tickets, um, right next to the Red Sox dugout. And um, one time when Garen was coming up to bat, he was, you know, on deck. He saw Abby up there in a ball. Um, happened to be right there, and he just grabbed it and reached up and rolled it to her. And I don't know what it was about that moment, but that is where it just clicked for her. Um, she just gained this desire to get as many baseballs as she could from that point on, and autographs, but mostly just baseballs right at first. She um, we went back to the next game, and probably the you know next couple right after that, um, and all she wanted to do was just hang outside uh, the stadium, because as I said in the first video, the fits is small and a lot of foul balls go out there. So, you know, I'd say the first, I don't know, maybe the first whole season, we spent a lot of time outside, uh, the stadium getting foul balls. Um, you know, we'd go in for an inning or two and then go out, uh, because she would get distraught whenever she saw a foul ball go out of the stadium that she didn't get. Um, but this ball in particular, this is it. This is the one, you know, and Garen Cicchini, uh, is the player that started it all for her. And, you know, also at that same game, um, he had broken two bats. Um, you know, he broke the first one and we started kind of paying attention, you know, and thought maybe we could ask him for it after the game. And so when the game ended, you know, we went down uh, by their dugout, but they'd already gone into the clubhouse, so we missed him. Uh, so we didn't get a chance to ask him. Um, but they also had kids run the bases, and so Abby went around to run the bases, you know, and we wait on the third base side, which is by the uh, Salem Red Sox dugout. And so I was, you know, standing there and looked over, and sure enough, in the trash can, there was the two bats were sitting there. Um, the bat boy was there, and I was like, hey, you know, what are they going to do with those bats in the trash? And he's like, oh, I don't know. And I said, well, I'm just going to take them then. And so I just took them, <laughs> you know, and um, one was a... Uh, Louisville Slugger Pro Model, I believe, uh, and the other was this Blake Swihart bat that Garen broke. Um, we ended up getting Blake to sign it later on. So um, I don't know the other one because as we were walking out, um, we ran into a mother and her son and they were asking us about the bats and they couldn't believe that we got them. So Abby decided to give him one, um, which is a very Abby thing to do. Um, she gave him the bat, um, you know, but then as we were, you know, progressing into the season, we kept going to more games and more games and more games, and I could just see the love uh, that she was having for the game. And I felt, you know, very indebted to uh, Garen for just giving her that ball. And so, you know, I wanted to get some, you know, memorabilia of his if I could, and he's a minor leaguer, so it was tough. But I went to a website called Game News Universe, and just asked, hey, you know, does anybody out here have any Garen Cicchini stuff? And almost immediately somebody responded um, with this. This is Garen's 2009 18U uh, USA Baseball uh, Game Use Jersey. Um, see how dirty it is? Uh, this was an amazing team right here. This team, uh, they won... I think it was the Pan Am Championships, or I can't remember for sure. But, it, you know, Bryce Harper was on the team, Manny Machado, Nick Castellanos, um, Jamison Talion, uh, and a couple other really good players, right? That was an amazing team. Uh, Sean Coyle was on the team. Um, I think Robbie Ray was on the team. It was a really, really good team. So I found it, and um, I ended up buying it. And so... You know, Salem was coming back again, you know, in a month or something. So I decided to, uh, I just wrote Garen a letter and just told him, you know, how much I appreciated uh, him giving her that ball. 
And I told him that we got the bats and, you know, the love for uh, baseball that Abby had because of that day. You know, and I said, hey, if we got your jersey, you know, if we'd like you to sign it if, you know, we can run into you again at the game. And so we went to the game and as we walked up, he saw the jersey and he was so excited to see it. He was, oh, I always wondered what they did with these jerseys. And, you know, he asked if he could take it uh, into the clubhouse to show Sean Coyle. Um, so he did. He took it in there and he came back out and said he took a picture with it. And as he was signing it, he was like, oh, this is the coolest thing I've ever signed. Um, it was just a really cool moment, you know, and um, asked Abby asked if he could get a picture with, if she could get a picture with him. And he said, oh, yeah, and most players will just stop right there and, you know, take a picture over the fence. But he didn't. He made her come out onto the field. So we got a really good picture of those two on the field, um, you know, and and from that point forward, you know, we, we would you know, go see him whenever we could. Whenever Salem came through, we saw him, you know, although he did get promoted shortly after that. Uh, we went down to, you know, Roanoke and to watch them play. You know, and that's, we were down there. Um, the store had these batting practice jerseys uh, from the season before. This wasn't Garen's, but it was his number, so we bought it. As you can see, he signed it to Abby and Maddie. Um, that was back when Addy, Addy, Matt used to go with us. Um, and so he also made the Carolina League All-Star team that year. And we ended up getting uh, his batting practice jersey from that. Um, yeah, he, like I said, he's a key figure in Abby's love for baseball. So, you know, I have some of his stuff. You know, Abby only likes to get stuff that was given to her. I don't care as much. You know, I bought a bat of his and... You know, I've got a couple autographed baseballs and that just because, you know, when I think about him, you know, and what he did for me as a father and for her, you know, as a fan, it just um, means a lot to me. So that's why I like to have his stuff. Um, we ended up seeing him in uh, Richmond when he came through with Portland, um, maybe twice. Uh, he... Um, was always so great every time he saw her he always you know made sure I mean he was really um, one of the top prospects in my league baseball at that time he was just on fire and so everybody wanted his attention and his autograph and stuff and so but he always made sure to uh, find Abby and just you know just give her like undivided attention and it just meant so much to me as a father you know to see him take the time to understand, you know, um, that, you know, he, he made her a fan and, and that um, the, the time that he was given her helped her grow into a bigger fan and it just meant the world to me. Um, we actually went again to try to see him down when the Paul Tucket came to Norfolk uh, and as we were driving down that morning, to go to the game, we heard the news that he got called up. Abby was crushed, you know, because we were going down there to see him specifically, but she was also incredibly excited for him to get called up and get his shot with the Red Sox. And he did, he came up and, you know, he had a, I think he might've had a double in his very first game. Um, you know, it was, uh, it was a big deal to watch him out there, somebody that we, you know, our, our first real um, player that we connected with and just to see him succeed like that was awesome. And he doesn't play anymore. Um, but that doesn't make us like him any less. He will always hold uh, an incredibly important part in the history of, you know, Abby's love for baseball. And, you know, and as a father, I was just so glad that it was him, you know, because um, he was good and he was just incredibly nice, right? Um, most players are, but he just... He seemed to go above and beyond for her, and that just uh, made it easier for her to love baseball. And, you know, that's why I have his stuff, and that's why I'll never get rid of any of his stuff. Uh, we don't have to get rid of anything, really, but um, I'm just grateful for him. And, um, you know, I don't, think, uh, I don't think he'll ever know how much this means to me. And as you can see, it's a little bit yellow, you know, because I took it to work and I would just kind of hold it if I was having a bad day or whatever, I would just kind of hold it and toss it around. 
you know, it's this ball is incredibly important to me. Um, I just, you know, thank him for um, doing what he did because I don't know, you know, if he she hadn't gotten that ball, who knows what would have happened. Um, it's just a very important day and an important ball, and I'm grateful for it. So that's my guarantee story. Thanks.